All right, got Coach Northern. Day two has been completed. Um, some mental struggles today. Um, lack of intensity. You addressed it a little bit with the team. Uh, do you think the guys were just reading the press a little early from the good practice from yesterday? I, I think that had a little bit to do with it then, uh, too. A lot of guys finished final exams. Uh, you know, once they finished their exams, uh, I, I think we had some distractions in place. And it's my job as a coach to get those distractions out of the way. Uh, no matter what they are, uh, so, you know, some guys finished very early today, and, and um, you know could have taken advantage of some film time and did not. Uh, could have taken advantage of some board time and did not. Uh, yeah, as like I say, as a coaching staff, we got to make sure we have a good finger on the pulse of the team. And today, uh, we didn't have that. And like I said, it all starts with me uh, making sure I know what's going on, no matter what's going on in uh, in my life. Uh, what's going on in the, in the other coaches? Like we still have a responsibility to these uh, young men on this team. We have a young uh, responsibility to, to the university to make sure that we clear those obstacles, whether or not it's a housing issue, a cafeteria issue, uh, whatever it is, financial aid. We got to make sure we try to do our best to clear that out of that young man's way, so he can concentrate on practice that day. And then, by the same token, when we do have those obstacles cleared for the young men, they got to take advantage of the free time that they have in a positive way and not waste it, uh, you know, I would say napping, but, you know, getting rest is good, but, you know, not playing video games where they could be uh, watching some film or getting in their playbook a little bit more. Well, like I was going to say, it, it's a two-way street. Uh, There's responsibility, as you accepted, but they also, as a student athlete, have responsibilities as well. And I know we're still dealing with some young men that are adjusting to the college life, first time away from home. Uh, so maybe today you got a point across. I, I think we did. You know, like I say, we had one young man uh, that's in uh, one of the academic programs that uh, violated curfew. So uh, he will be dealt with. All the freshmen will be dealt with because on Sunday we're going to have about 3,000 new freshmen coming in. And, you know, some of them going to be trying to find new girlfriends and some of those new young ladies going to be trying to find boyfriends. But you know what? After they move in, we have two practices the next day. So they have to understand that early on in their college careers, you're going to have to sacrifice some things as a student athlete that other people don't have to sacrifice. Like I say, it's, for, it's not just for the football team, but it's for this university. And they got to think big picture, not small picture. Now, Coach, on the offensive side, uh, you got to be pleased with the with the look of your quarterback so far. The uh, timing seems to be on. Uh, the receivers are still getting adjusted some of the routes. But I, if I had to describe the offense, I would call it controlled chaos. You know what's going on. But is that part of the design to wear your play? your team down or opponents down mentally as well as physically? Yeah, we talked about a little bit uh, in our team meeting earlier today about uh, practicing and playing to dominate. Uh, and I, I think our offense at times can dominate people with the tempo that we play with. And if we add uh, being physical to it, it can definitely wear people down. People think just because we're a spread team, we're a finesse ball club, and we rushed for over 200 yards a game last year. So, uh, we can we can punish some people. At the same time, we can also, with our tempo, make people very tired. So if you pounding on people and making them tired, you can definitely break their will, and that's what we want to do on the offensive side of the ball. And like I told our guys,